this if we get to the end, but that's where we begin. You feel it? Mannequins and we breaking the mold. Breaking out and we breaking the codes. Similar to the jack who stole to the depths in your web, so you take explosive and get it out. Send your body to flight. What's going on, YouTube? This is Joe's McFly. Hitting you up to another reaction video to yet another Yankee game. This is game 124. Um, on the docket right now and if, you know what if this is your first time that's on the channel make sure you do click on that subscribe button click on that notification tab right in that little bell just to get all of your Yankee news notes reactions recaps and Q&A's as we did today earlier for the very first time which I think was successful what do you guys think uh, but today was great but before I get into the much needed offense Let's talk about Tanaka. And it's a Tanaka Tuesday today. And Tanaka's coming off of the DL. And like I said earlier, remember, he has to look at this as like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You know, he has no ERA. He has to mentally kind of come in and it's like, you know what, this is a reset. This is a new season. And that's exactly what he did today. And I'm so happy with having Tanaka back because he is a huge boost. Of course, you could look at the record of the Tigers and say, oh, whatever, you know, what's up with these guys? But if you think about it, they're top 10 in hitting, you know, uh, in terms of average. They, you know, you have more power, more, uh, you know, than the Red Sox. I believe they're top 10 there, too. Uh, their problem is pitching. And we've seen it today. It is evident by the 13 to 3. I'm going to call it 3 because that last run i'm going to charge to ellsbury uh but yeah 13 or 4 whatever the yankees were able to bludgeon their pitching and you know what it's finally nice to have a a game that you can just sit back relax watch it and just watch the ball go out of the park and thank god god bless august gary sanchez i mean that man rakes that guy rakes if you want to take a look at it gary sanchez this is his what his 25th homer right now of the yeah his 25th homer keep in mind the guy missed a month okay all right he missed the month so it's just something to keep in mind keep into perspective he did miss a month but tanaka today just an awesome job look seven innings pitch six hits uh three earned runs he gave up the obligatory home run uh opposite field home run that he gave up to uh nick castellanos um and he had four k's today a solid start i thought his slider was great i thought his uh split finger was awesome i mean he had both pitches dancing and his velocity was great i mean i thought he looked good but the important part about tanaka is not about now it's about his next start you know because he had extra rest now Okay, we all know what Tanaka is with extra rest. How is he going to be in the next start? And then that is important. But good start to build on for Tanaka. We needed positive things from him. And we also needed positive things from Judge. And you know what? Today was a great game. And you know what? Joe Girardi did a little bit of ticket. I don't know if he's watching the videos. Probably not. But I don't know if he's watching the videos. But Joe Girardi changed the lineup. And he put Gary Sanchez third, Judge fourth. You may look at it like, ah, what's the big deal? That's not a big switch. Who cares? But you know what? I think Gary batting, but Gary's hot right now. Gary batting ahead of him can allow him to relax just a little bit so he doesn't have to feel like he has to be the one to do it because right now you got a guy that just hit a ball 493 freaking feet today. I mean, my God. But Judge was really quick to remind him. I, I think I still got two feet on him. So it's good. You know, I like the shit talking back and forth between them, you know. Um, like to see that. But getting back to Judge's at-bats. He had three walks in the RBI single today. I thought it was great. The way that he took the walks. It's not about just the walks. The way that he took the walks, a lot of them were close pitches. And if you look at what he did back in the first part of the season, first half, those pitches he was spitting on, he was holding his ground and staying disciplined on those pitches. He did not swing out of the zone. Um, he did miss a couple of pitches that he could have put in play, did not do it, but he did take his walks. And that's good because now he doesn't feel like the pressure's on him to perform, bring in the runners, because now you have people that in front of you can be able to bring in runs, behind you can be able to bring in runs, and now that's going to get even better with people like uh, Castro and Bird hopefully coming back soon, which Castro had a hit today, and I think the game got rained out. But um, 
that's encouraging to see, seeing three walks out of Judge and ending his freaking stupid strikeout streak at 37, and I'm good. It's probably going to stand forever for the for forever time or whatever it is, but that's fine because I don't want to see that again, and I'm glad that we don't have to talk about it anymore, and Judge does not have to answer any more questions. But let's take a look at the box score. I mean, my God. I mean, seriously, everybody just came in today, had their hitting shoes on, and just came out to hit. I know the only person that's in the lineup that did not get a hit today was Chase Headley. But if you watch the game, the guy scolded like at least three balls, two of them to the opposite way that would have probably been home runs in Yankee Stadium. Um, it found the, the left fielder's glove, and you know, that's just what it is. That's baseball. That's baseball, Susan. But uh, that's just what it is. But uh, great job out of Hicks. Hicks had a bomb, too. I mean, we could talk about the offense all day. But the Yankees needed a laugher today in the worst way. All of the other teams, ch teams chasing them today won. I think only the Angels right now is the only team that's playing. And the Angels are beating Texas 1-0 to zero right now. So, whatever. And the Red Sox, they won today. They bludgeoned the, the, the Indians today in their game. But you know what? Can't think about none of that stuff. Can't think about them. Only have to think about the team that you play ahead of right now. And the Yankees finally got to 10 games over 500 again. And it almost feels like every time they get to this plateau, they move back a little bit. Then they get back to it, then they move back. No, now it's time to build on it, okay? You get to 10 games over 500. After you get to 10 games over 500, the next goal has to be 15 games over 500. So that has to be the goal now, getting to the 15 games over 500, and then building from there from 15 to hopefully 20 and then we can be able to, to you know build on that and then that's what good teams do so that's that has to be the goal right now can't think about what the hell the Red Sox are doing can't think about what everybody else is doing around the league we just gotta worry about ourselves and if we win games we're gonna be there at the end because we're better than all of the damn teams behind us and we can if we play well and we get these reinforcements we can possibly catch the Red Sox because um, that's just what it is. I think the division is still in play. Four and a half games out, we're right there. So, um, But let me know what you guys think in the comments about this game. It was a great game. Wire to wire win. What do you feel that to you is the most encouraging? Is it judges at bat? You know, the way that he was able to kind of, you know, work it today and be able to get that base hit. I love the base hit that he got today. The RBI single did not strike out there and was able to get that hit and get a run in. That's good for his psyche. Um, uh, or do you think the Tanaka was just as important, or if not even more important? Uh, Didi Rakes also, he had a multi-hit game today. It was just a good overall win, man. But um, by the way, I know a lot of people were upset because they're like, oh man, you didn't let me know about the q and I did say it in the last video about the Q&A, and I'm sorry I didn't give people more notice. I'm going to try to do these on a weekly basis uh, in terms of Q&A, so throughout the week, probably by like Friday, Saturday, you and Sunday, you would start um, leaving the questions in there, and then I'll probably choose whether it's a Sunday or a Tuesday, I'll choose that day to do the Q&A and be able to just answer a couple of your questions, because I want to include you more into this, because I would not be here if it was not for you watching these videos so i definitely thank everybody for that that ha does take the time to watch these videos to subscribe to like to you know do anything i really do appreciate it uh but yeah man tomorrow we got severino on the mound we got the ace the sevis on the mound tomorrow is severino and he has another start to be able to build on to go in against this team hopefully shut him down hopefully we save some runs from today for tomorrow and we're able to build on that but Gary Sanchez, man. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, but as I always say, guys, make sure you do keep the pinstripes on. Keep yeah. the pinstripes strong. And let's go, Yankees, man. Let's make it happen. Hey, hey, let's get to the next plateau, which is that 15 games over 500, man. Peace. Memo.